two frames late. He's going pretty good. So, and I opened the bag, the trainer card an extra time too. Zero HP, nice. Eighteen. This is it, I think. LOL. Uh, yeah, this one is like a glass cannon. <laughs> Completely. So this one's going to... 20 HP at level 6, and a lot of Charmand some Charmanders are 20 at level 5. That's how bad its HP is. Twenty, twelve, eleven, fifteen. 15. That's the one. Yeah, so I switch the difficulty and the experience yield in the overworld. Because you can't set that at the start of the run. And I'm going to run from all the encounters here because experience is not useful. Speed is 13, so I'm going to be slower than Brock, I think. Well, my PB Charmander had really bad special attacks, so this one at least has that going for it. But everything else is kind of trash. At least it's not mild. Question is, do I use Ember on my catch here? That is the question. Okay, good. The double the XP also applies to um, encounters here as well. 
And catching a Pokemon here means that this guy does not teach you how to catch Pokemon, so it's faster to just camp for an encounter on Route 1 than it is to just go through the cutscene. Also, later on, you're so overleveled, you KO everything anyway, so it's it just makes more sense to catch something on Route 1. Yeah, I'm picking up this antidote. I've learned my lesson. Pika Pika! Luckily Charmander's fast, so I don't have to worry about that. Squirtle! <laughs> Even at level 7 here would uh, very likely be slower than the Pikachu. Alright, Metapod is a 9 and 16 range. Good. This fight's just nice to do first because even though the Metapod's a range, it can't damage you. Uh, there is another trainer you could do, this, the one right before this guy, and he has a Weedle, and Weedle is a... I think it's a range as well, and it can poison you, so it's... And you get more experience from that guy anyway, so it makes more sense to fight him. Kakuna. Potion. Is that a 1%? Might be. Alright, I'm gonna go shopping. Alright, how much does this guy do? 15. Neutral. 17 to 19 with Rock Tomb. I am speed tied with the Onyx. So I'm just gonna let a Growl off first. So it's not gonna go for Rock Tomb here. I won the speed ties, that's good. So now he does 12 to 13 with Rock Tomb, that's a good crit. Okay, now he can actually kill me, so I'm gonna heal, because he crit. Jerk. Okay, he missed, nice. And I get an attack boost at the end, which is always fun. Can you stop critting me, please? Well, that, ro that Rock Tomb miss was super nice. <laughs> yeah, so really low low HP is kind of bad for Brock in vanilla, but I think it's not quite as bad here. The problem with low HP is that you're threshold for blaze is smaller because your HP is lower. So the amount of HP values that you can have that are in blaze are, are less. That's the biggest problem with the low HP. I will level to 16 here. Okay, so there's lots of time save on this split because I, in my PB, I... 
Where's my PB? Yeah, I think my PB. I died to poison on the next fight. Because I missed a 15 and 16 range on the Weedle. And uh, had to backtrack. I have an antidote this time, so... Effectively, I did get killed by Weedle, yes. I had to backtrack to the center and heal. And uh, died on the way. Yes, the Fire Lizard got killed by a Weedle. It's surprising, I know. No, Bulbasaur just has to struggle through this section by tackling everything twice, or more. So, it suffers in its own way, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna get the Persim just in case. Yeah, it just depends on where you repel. For four repels... If you repel at the very beginning of Mount Moon, you have to... Um, you end up... Repel, repel ends up running out. Well, depending on where you actually... Which exact path you take. Your repel ends up running out in front of the last. You can actually do a run-to-walk manip on the Scientist, which is right below the Bug Catcher. In the bottom right corner of Mount Moon. And that will actually nice disable. And um, you can save some tiles doing that. Alright, well, lost some time there because of disable. Didn't get poisoned, though. Doesn't really matter as long as I can get through this fight alive. That's the important thing. yet to actually get a good enough attack in a run to skip Mega Kick. My attack is pretty low here, so skipping Mega Kick is not a good idea. 
It mainly revolves around like the Misty Ranges. That's when you skip it. The 21 plus attack allows you to skip it, but it risks a 90% Starmie range. Of course, makes it also makes this Squirtle annoying. All right, let's hit this uh, 255 and 256 two-hit range this time. That looked like a good roll. I have to switch, though, because of sand attack. Oh, I only have one HM friend. That's a problem. So if I need to switch again, I can't. <laughs> so now my revive is useless. So if I die, I just go back to the center, I guess. Good. I used the wrong move. Okay, I crit. Wow. <laughs> that was really lucky. I thought Mega Punch was in slot four. For whatever reason. That's two pretty lucky rival twos today. Nice, nice 5% miss. Probably be donating tomorrow for misses. Nice boost. That's a really good boost because that means I can use Metal Claw on these last two instead of Mega Punch. But I've missed more Metal Claws than Mega Punches this run, so I don't know if that's uh, worth gloating about. Boost there is nice because I can metal claw the Oddish, but I have to punch it. That's okay. Wow, okay, game. Two metal claw misses, no mega kick misses, no mega punch misses. Did I miss on um, Brock too? I'm not sure if I did. I don't think I did. I'll probably do donations um, based on the percentage it is to miss, I think. I have to figure out what that's going to be exactly. Oh, there's a Mega Punch miss. I got Poison Point. Yo. I still have that antidote, right? I should. I'll just use it now. Yeah, because it's 25% to miss kick, 15% to hit miss punch, and 5% to miss claw. And 15% also to miss fire blast. So I'll just donate 5 times more for a kick miss than a claw miss.
Grab the item, please, friend. Okay, so I have to... Ember twice here. If I'm in Blaze, I can use Metal Claw turn one or turn two. Okay, now I'm in Blaze, so this dies. That is a range. It's pretty favorable, though. Uh, two hit range. So I have Rash 13. Forty-one to forty-seven is how much Water Pulse does. So I have to deal to forty-eight or higher. speed, which means I do not need to fight Misty, or I I can fight Misty right away. I am not going to, though. So I believe I am saving time because in PB I did not take the center in Cerulean. Because I had to take it, because I died, died on Route 3, I went back and healed in Pewter, and so I didn't have to, didn't have to take the center to restore Ember PP. So pretty good split overall then, because the heal does take a decent amount of time. Thirty-seven to forty-four at twenty-eight. So I'll just need to heal with a potion. That's it. Yep, potion will get me exactly. Not dead to any water pulse rolls. I don't know why I went through this house. <laughs> it's probably slower than the alternative. save for Misty as well. Definitely good. Perfect. Good thing I have the Prism. Also, fun fact about this ROM hack, you can't sell TMs for money, which is pretty unfortunate. Doesn't really matter for this run, but...
Yeah, I don't need the, I don't really need the money. In fact, I don't even really need to sell the nugget either. But it's nice to have some extra potions for uh, healing later. Because there's a lot of situations in this in this route where you need to heal to a very specific HP um, to set up blaze. Like before Blaine, before Rival 6, before Lorelei. Pretty much before most of the Elite Four. You never heal the full before Champ or Lance either. Probably heal for rival. Although what I'll probably do because I'm in such good HP health wise for Blaze, I will please hit. Oh, maybe I'm not in such good HP. Yeah, I'm gonna save for rival, but I'm going to um, not heal. Because quick attack doesn't kill me from Pidgeotto and Ember Blaze kills. But I will heal with a super turn one on for Tortle, because it should use Water Gun, because I will be dead to it. If it withdraws, I'll be very, very unhappy. Yeah, you do this with, um, the squirrel route for regular vanilla as well. You, if you have torrent, you go into this fight in torrent so that you one hit the Pidgeotto and then you heal for turn one on Ivysaur. You should bubble. Oh yeah, bubble's fine, I guess. And then I kick. Okay, just hit, please. Good. Uh, that's really dumb. Uh, Snow Claw again. Yeah, so you don't Metal Claw the Raticate. It's a bit surprising because the Raticate's level 14 and you're level 33, but and Metal Claw does not kill. Alright. Hey, Headbob, thanks for good luck. I saw your message in Discord, but this game plays so fast I don't really have much of a chance to actually type and play at the same time. <laughs> so. I'm not sure if you can actually set difficulty in the save file and then it'll be already set if once you reset after the manip. Because, yeah, we're going to try the manip once and then reset it. but I'm not sure if that'll work. I'll have to experiment with that. Nice. First, first can. Let's see if we can get the god cans. No. Still pretty fast, though. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I wonder if it would have been faster to go around and pass him once, but I'm not sure. I wonder if 
Blaze Ember kills Raichu. I don't think it does. I don't think I'll be in Blaze anyway. No, no, I'm not Blaze. Oh wow, yeah, my PB had a really good split here. I only saved six seconds. with dreams as well. And the dreams bike is exactly the same. walk in front of her. I don't know why. <laughs> nice boost. Which means I can Metal Claw the second Oddish. The second Oddish is a range. It's, for me, it's 7 and 16 without the attack boost. I think I've missed as many Metal Claws as Mega Punches this run, so... Yeah, the Iker's not too bad to pass. If you, like, don't waste any time, like, mo moving around near him, he usually doesn't walk into... You don't usually bike into his line of sight. Because his sight line is really short. I think it's only, like, two or one. Considering picking up the revive in here just so I can revive my Rattata <laughs> in case I die somewhere, but it's hard to die from here onwards until significantly later. Okay, 
So my HP is pretty decent here. I, there's a chance that I can be at a point where I... Did I just go right past? I did. Skipping the revive. That I'll be able to stall on t Tower Rival to get Blaze. So I fight Eric in this route because I've specifically set up my EXP so that I can be use the rest of my candies right before uh, Viridian Rival. And if you fight Hiker Allen, you don't get enough experience. Interestingly, if you fight the top Hiker in this next room, that also doesn't give you enough experience. Because this guy, Oliver, gives quite a lot of experience. I only really need to flamethrower the second onyx there. I don't need to flamethrower the other two, but because I'm kind of tight on Ember PP, it makes sense to just flamethrower everything. I probably could Metal Claw some of these things, but Metal Claw can miss. So it... Uh, Makes so much more sense just to use the accurate move. Also, attack boosts are not really helpful anyway, so no point in... Oh, my movement is kind of awkward. What's my special attack? My special attack is 31, so everything here is guaranteed with Ember. Same thing with this fight, I could probably Metal Claw a bunch of stuff here, but... Even though I'm going to not be taking any more centers, and just using elixirs to heal. Never have to worry about running out of wing attacks. said no there. That is like the mistake I make the most in this run, is I, I renew the repel there. And that's pretty annoying. Okay, so today I'm going to remember to pick up the Sylph Scope, or this run rather, I'm going to remember to pick up the Sylph Scope. Okay, that's... I'm not sure if that, that nerd could have seen me from there, so I was just played that a bit safe. gonna wing attack that because I don't want to miss. <laughs>
don't use Metal Claw anymore anyway, so. If I caught a bird, I would put Cut on Char Charizard, and Charizard would actually could actually use Cut on some of these pokes, where I would normally use Metal Claw, because Cut is just as accurate and just as strong as Metal Claw. It just doesn't have an attack boost. Ooh, missed a Hyper Beam. Yeah, I remember you Hyper Beamed that. Yeah, Venusaur, you have to, like, use hex attacks on this fight. Pretty slow. Erica before tower, okay. I'm trying to remember exactly what that involved. So I wouldn't mind taking a quick attack from that Raticate, because I do want to take a bit more damage. Because there's literally nothing in this area that can deal damage. <laughs> yep. Yeah, as soon as I beat Giovanni, I was like, okay, escape rope, escape rope. Because that's the menu, but... I was probably a little bit thrown off because of the um, early shopping. Yeah, I could ember a lot of all these pokes, but I'm a little bit short on embers. So this is a new, slightly new route that I'm doing here. I have to ember this sand shrew though because I got Ekans first on, on this fight, so my wing attack wouldn't kill with the attack drop. Fake out from Kangaskhan is nice here. For some damage. That's better than stalling on rival. Because I actually might need. To... Yeah. Might need to take more damage than that.
Wow. It's rare for her to turn out of your way when you're walking towards her. Fun fact. And I was running there. Teach fly over metal claw. Hey, so I currently have no lo no more uh, um, inaccurate moves. For now. Actually, hold on. There. Quick attack. You ass! <laughs> Goes for withdraw, of course. Okay, time to find a new setup. Dicey Koga it is. Pick up this elixir, which you don't normally ever pick up in normal runs, but since I'm taking less centers, it's important. Oh, I forgot to forgot to disable running. Luckily, she only has a ghastly, so it's fine. That trainer most certainly is optional. Luckily, she's fast. So I could stall on like something on the one of the rockets. Yeah, if you mash as the Marowax coming out, it does that weird graphics glitch. If you don't mash at all, it doesn't happen. I could stall, I could throw a ball at the Golbat, but the Golbat doesn't really do very much damage because I'm super high level, so kind of just have to deal with. I sh maybe I'll look into how much, maybe just stalling on Kangaskhan or something instead. Or on, um, or on the Onyx even. The Onyx has Rock Throw. So I'd need to be at pretty high HP to, if I was going to stall on that. So I'd have to wait. I'll probably, probably just wing attack or something. So I'm going to lose time here because of...
optional plus stalling. But that's okay. Okay, I have no more wing attack PP. That's interesting. Hopefully I don't run out of embers later. Remember not to renew repel. What I'll probably do in my marathon run tomorrow is I'll pick up the max elixir either in either in uh, rocket hideout or in vermilion, just for extra safety. Ah, that was so bad. So this bike is fast enough; you can do the. Uh, If, you, if they turn and you immediately go past them, you don't hit them. No! Okay, so I'm going to use an elixir here. You normally need two repels here, but because it's auto renew repel, you have to use three. Otherwise, do an extra menu, which is super slow. Okay, so I'm gonna do something a bit extra here. I guess I could have revived on that bag but in there, but that's okay. So I should have, yeah, have six wing attacks going into Koga. It's pretty low. 
actually. <laughs> And unfortunately, I have Fly as my HM move. Because if I had Cut, I could use Cut on weak pokes. Yeah, I'm going to have to use Wing Attack on Muck to do some chip damage. If I had Blaze, I'd be able to one-hit. Luckily, it's not Gen 7 Minimize, which is two stages. there, please. This HP is a little bit dicey. Alright, so I have to set up to 1x special and hit him twice with flamethrower. That is Blaze. Second like Ember U. What? All right, I have to fix that. <laughs> I have to revisit that uh, damage calc. Because uh, I had that as guaranteed. That's fine, I, get a I take a little bit extra damage too, which is, which is good, although I used an extra ember, which is not nice. I could just ember this whole fight. So I'll just have extra. I shall wing attack this still. Yeah, so I have four wing attacks for Sabrina now. And I can ember you.
Okay, good news is I don't have to set up next special on this guy because I have Blaze. Okay, I'm going to use Flamethrower anyway on this Rhyhorn, even though it says I can use Blaze Ember because I don't really trust any of these ranges. Yeah, I know, right? I believe this is the last time I ever use like attack, so running out here is totally cool. to heal for Okay. So for Blaine I just need to set up to plus 1 and have blaze which I can do pretty easily here. Grab the hidden elixir in here and the secret key. Yeah. Inside the room. Yikes, I didn't realize he had five. So, HP is 15 from Rash. 
Yeah, so I don't think I can even die here. Even to a crit. He missed anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, Magnemite Magneton would really suck for Venusaur. Okay, so this guy is guaranteed because I have 31 special attack. Renew Repel. So I love how he walks right into the mart. No, you can't escape rope out of the gym in this game. Whoops. How's my Ember PP doing? I kind of want to just wing attack the Machoke here just to be safe because I've got lots of wing attacks. Actually, no, I got lots of Embers. I could definitely. Yeah, you can escape out of Sabrina's gym. I think that's the only one you can. Yeah, I don't think... I think Dig and Escape Rope do the same thing. Or you can use Dig and Escape Rope in the same areas. I believe. Okay, so this fight is just spam. Ember, except for Nitto Queen. Still Blaze. We're gonna, we're gonna have to heal for Rival. No! What? Oh, come on. Uh. Okay, this, I guess. I used Ember like an idiot. Um, okay, so we're gonna do. Do I have any way to heal that off? I don't think I do. Because I am a full restore. Yeah, I have to full restore that. Okay, I don't need Blaze for this fight though, I don't think. That was a huge mistake. Hey, Monopoly, thanks for good luck. You're still able to uh, commentate tomorrow, right? Perfect. Cool. Yeah, I'm also doing this, this run for the marathon. It'll be right before the Dreams run. Nice. That is really unfortunate. My HP is super high now. Yeah, Monopoly actually is the uh, creator of dreams. Okay, so what am I doing here? Jeez. Uh, candy, and that's it, I think.
Okay, so I need to get Blaze here. I don't know how that's gonna work. I have to set up a butt ton of like, specials, I think. Special. I need you to crit. Okay, well. Two. Three. Four. We'll just do a fifth one for good measure. And I should one hit this Blastoise with Flamethrower now. Okay. I actually don't even know what the, um, the, no the non blaze amount of setup is for this fight. I think five was probably too much, four was probably enough. <laughs> Pickle. That's, that's, that, that is a play. Luckily I have plenty of X specials, so I don't need to worry about that. Usually I finish the run with about nine extra, so I could I can spare a few here. This HP is actually pretty decent for the next next section. Oh. Because I will not be taking the center before Lorelei. Super fast bike is pretty pretty bad here. So while I'm pushing boulders is like the best time to check how much I need to heal to. time it wastes, but this bike moves pretty fast, so. Okay, so Surf with Sunny Day, Rash 13, it does 38 to 44, so this HP is actually perfect. I don't need to heal. Grab my final move set here. I don't need to buy full restores. Oh. Okay. But, but, but. Jeez. Okay. No, I want to deposit. 
Don't need to buy full restores. Save. Alright, so the strat for this fight is going to this fight dead to a Surf, but I'll use Sunny Day turn 1 so that Surf doesn't kill, and then I sweep. But I need to use two Fire Blasts, which is kind of maka s. Good. Problem is you have to hit 285% accurate moves. In regular Fire Red, you have to set up X specials as well, so that makes this fight really, really dumb for Charizard. Good. Alright, instant time save. I died to this in my PB. Yeah, sometimes the weather battle too, because the, the um, thing you can use hail. Yep. All right, not dead to mock punch, so I just sweep with flamethrower on Bruno. I use a repel nice. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Alright, this fight I just sweep a flamethrower. Blaze is beneficial as well because the second Gengar you need to use Fire Blast if you're not in Blaze. And then the Arbok is a 15 and 16 range without Blaze as well. So I'm going to use two supers before... Maybe use two supers and a potion before Lance. Because my defense... Oh, my defense is kind of okay, but my HP is really low. Okay. Hyper Beam does... 61 to 71. The extra potion is a little bit for a little bit of a safety play here, so I want to get to plus two um, and be in blaze. He has dragon rage and he has uh, hyper beam. He's bite though, which is kind of annoying actually. Three. Uh, I guess I go again. Four. <laughs> That's still not it. Okay, we'll just do this. Next defend. And then this. That was an exceptional waste of time. <laughs> he hardly ever goes for bite. I've usually just seen him use Dragon Rage a couple times and then he gets to the point where he can hit me with Hyper Beam. But. So the extra potion didn't really come into play there. It might have, but 
wouldn't have mattered, I don't think. At least I can fl flamethrower the Dragonite. Okay, so we'll do similar heal here. We'll just do two supers there, since the, the uh, Pidgeot does less. What is my strategy? No! Wrong move. I just did menu over to the... I need to... I literally only set up all these X specials for the Blastoise. to heal, obviously, for Arcanine. That's a really dumb way to lose time. I'm kind of upset about that. One twenty four. Would have been what could have been a one twenty three. Thanks for the GG's pickle. Thanks for the GG's wobble. World record. Thanks, Monopoly. So yeah, I lost about 30 to 30 seconds or so, or more, unfortunately, so that's okay. 